Don't even play with me. Get the whole... <laughs> oh, oh my god, I got a KO from the top. Oh, what a hit! Hello, everyone, and welcome to week 11. For some reason, I'm always told I'm number 11, but I don't want to show those fingers of uh, WWE 2K24 Season 2 of my GM mode here on the Backbreaker Gaming YouTube channel. Uh, we, re we record these live every Wednesday and Saturday after AW Collision and Dynamite over on twitch.tv slash Mike the Ref. Pleasure having you here. And uh, yeah, we had a hell of a SummerSlam. Took over first place once again. Uh, Fan-wise, we're, we're still lagging behind by about 40,000 fans. Well, we got that Hall of Fame trophy. That's what the th that's what our ultimate goals are here. We are going to have to get some work done here. And I think today is the day that we're going to pick up a new arena and we're going to get even bigger so we can get more cash flow coming in. And once we get the more cash flow coming in, we can work on all the other stuff here, putting it together here. So, but yeah, let's get to it here. And like I said, what? We're, I'm going to show you where we're at here and what we're going to be doing. But let's let's load up the file here. Okay, so we have to... What we promised here. Promised I'd interfere in a match on his behalf in three weeks. We got... Uh, stacks we have to give a match this week. And Maya's contract's running out this week. She has decided she's no longer... Wanting to be a part of our work here. We're going to have to renegotiate Billy next week. And Clint's going to be a week after that. So we might end up having to do a massive tag title match next week. But first of all, let's... So we got a ton of money here, right? We got 337000 I think what we need to do here to, in order to get our revenue up to a new level, we got to get a new arena. We got enough asset points to do it right now. Means we're not going to be able to get any of the other stuff till later. But I think this is probably the most important thing right now for us. So let's get it. We're down to 87,000 for this show. Now, we don't have a coast to coast card right now, right? All right. GM Interference booked on this show will provide an additional two show points to be free to book this week. So, because I have to help Gunther in a match, I'm actually going to pick this card up as well. We are going to have a very bare bones show today. So let's book let's book this show. And right now, I want to look at stamina. Like, literally right now, we're going to do Maya and... You know what? We'll do Maya and Brit in Extreme Rules match. Just because we're losing Maya. It's a matchup that'll work well. Now we got to get stacks in here somehow. So let's see what he's got. We book a tag team match. Let's get the men's tag team titles involved here. Dom's got lots of energy. MVP, maybe not so much. Who else do we have for heels here? See, I want to save MVP up for Dragonov here as we're going along. I think we might actually do... Ah, nope. Let's, let's do MVP. Nope, it still won't give us any balances, so... We'll do Corbin. It's not going to help a whole lot either way. We will put the titles on the line just to make things a little different here. What's our goal for this week? 
Do not book your most popular bruiser. And a network special. So yeah, we're definitely gonna use that. Let's see who we can get here. Who's our most popular bruiser? Ivy. So we just don't book Ivy tonight. So that's okay. We can deal with that. Okay. So, you know what? Let's book JC and Billy into a match. I'll add some stipulations when I find out I have some cash or not. And stamina. Fallon's got lots. Most of my females don't. That's the thing. Like, Cora's got 27 stamina. She ain't wrestling tonight. And everybody else is a bruiser, right? So, we need a female specialist to work with here. So, before anything... You know what? <sighs> I need a heal specialist, so. Let's see if I can spend a thousand bucks and get one here. Oh. Son of a gun. But she's 33 grand for five weeks. You know what? I think tonight... We're just going to sign her for one week. We're just going to bring her in tonight. We can always bring her in... We can always bring her in later. So tonight we will get Fallon Henley... Against Christina Fury in a tables match. We still got money left, so we can still play with this. Yeah, we're we're gonna look through this right away here. We'll get things added in here. Um I almost wanna do the interference spot tonight, but what's good Gunther's at 48, so he's because Do we want to do the interference spot tonight or do we want to save it for next week? Because, yeah, I, I think... I think it might actually make sense to do it this week just to uh, keep the champ in action here. Almost defeats the purpose of having this, but... You know what? We could almost do. I don't want to screw screw stacks over like that, though. He's going to ruin his morale already if I interfere. So I don't know if I want to do that. So we'll leave that there. We'll do a call out promo here. Who's got more? Okay, MVP's got more stamina. Let's get this up to a level four. For, for me, this week is all about stamina, right? I want to keep things as high as possible.
You know, let's get Ava a little bit of popularity. Let's get, let's see if we can try and get her over a little bit. And because I have no money. Let's do an advertising promo with the champ. Don't know if I want to put, like, the classes match up. The specialty match matches up. But this also matches up too. That's a rivalry. This is actually a lot more solid card than I thought it would be. What kind of stipulation can we... Oh, we... <laughs> we could pull this off, but it's 100 grand. So that ain't happening. Loser is removed from your brand. I'd almost like to do that with uh, with Maya there, right? And then this one here. Yeah, we'll do the tables just to keep that going. We'll do a tornado tag maybe just to keep things going a little quicker here on that. I'm thinking we go this way instead, though. Actually, we'll do this way. Billy and JC have a level three, level one rivalry already. Their classes match up. We don't need a specialty thing for the match. It's hard to figure out which way you want to do all these matches as we go. Because this, this right here will be a good match, but it's our last match of the show. Popularity's in the tank there. Popularity's pretty good. Yeah, I think this is probably the way we're going to go here. And yeah, we'll do that. I don't know. Do we want to do the... Uh, still wondering whether we want to do this match or not here tonight. Or do we want to do... Triple threat. Why does Clint McDougal look like a stripper? He, his character is supposed to be a mall cop, to be honest. No, we'll do the four-way. Cruiser or Bruiser matchup? That's interesting. Okay, so we got a tables match between these guys. No title on the line. And I think I we're going to flip this here just because. Yeah, I think we got th this is going to be a weird night for booking. Let's see what else we got left here. Power cards. We already picked up the one. We don't have much money for anything else here. Uh, I want to save this Birth of Legends card for later. Because six random superstars have their popularity boosted. I don't want to uh, put it anywhere... I don't want to give it to somebody who's going to be released in a week. That's why I don't want to use it right now. Free match. Special promotion. 
retain most of your fans. I'm not really worried about that because we got we got the bigger venue, so we're gonna get more fans regardless. Everybody's over fifty. Yeah, I know we're gonna go that way. And I think Jane's gonna be able to carry this through. All right, all the world hates a coward. I think we're gonna have to get going because I'm gonna. I could stare at this all month. Looks about right. All right, let's go. So we have to check out everybody else's results first because it's a snake order. All right, so for the opening match of ECW, we got Rousey and Niven versus Lorraine Brightstar, which automatically gets a bonus because it's a women's match on ECW. Because they have no women's titles, so every match gets a bonus. Vicky McLeod trying to put herself over fails miserably. Valhalla versus Indy Hartwell. Indy wins. Two star. Yeah, you're putting a crappy match on that figures. Kurt Angle. Soon to be top town pro wrestling spectator pro Kurt Angle. Logan Paul versus Josh Briggs in a one-on-one. -on -one. I hope uh, Briggs wins. Thank you. Three stars. This feud, they've been... Oh, they got it to level four, finally. Congratulations. The Miz and Garcia versus Bait and Creed. No titles on the line, though. One more for the good guys. Eric, how you doing? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Players Club. Enjoy the food. Enjoy, enjoy the company. Watch out for the drinks because I think uh, McG spiked the punch. But thank you for stopping by. I appreciate having you here. We're just going over the results here of week 11 of our WWE 2K Sim uh, My GM mode. WCW starting with geriatric to start the card. This is fun. All right, let's see. Big E versus Jerry. Iron Man match. Big E wins it probably big with a three-star match. Finn Balor, excellent promo as always. Paragon, Jay Pierce, and Andre Chase taking on George Steele and Karrion Cross. Okay. Steel and Cross in a two and a half star match. So they still made. Damn it. They still got okay there. Tim Burr puts himself over. Gets one pop for that. Captain Grog versus Ricky Steamboat versus Randy Orton versus Booker T in a fatal four way match. Booker T wins. And Orton's out for three weeks. Ah, a boy, Bischoff. Adrian Buck cannot do a promo. And our main event, non-title, tables match. Alexa Bliss and Tiffany Stratton, the blondes with a cause. Taking on Raquel Rodriguez and Gigi Dolan. Gigi and Raquel win again. An amazing match. Okay. Oh, God. I'm sorry, chat. You're not hearing the crowd cheers here. I forgot I had the uh, game auto to shut down, so. All right. For uh, our opener. Shayna Baszler and Carmella. Regular match. Three stars. Braun Strowman. Yeah, put himself over enough. Here's a blast of the past for you. Jim Neidhart and Randy Savage. That'd be a hell of a match now. Randy Savage wins in a three-star match. Okay, match is even. Otis cannot call out Nakamura properly. Even though he's the champ. So we got Undertaker and Truth get... They're not getting the rematch against... Oh, they're the new team forming. Okay. And Ciampa's running in on Breaker. Oh, that'd be a fun feud. Taker and Truth win. Good. 
Jimmy Uso. I hate this picture of Jimmy. He looks like he's packing on a few hundred pounds there. And our main event for the women's title. Natalia Michin versus Bailey and Molly Holly. Weird, it'll only let me simulate it. Bailey and Molly Holly retain. Four star match. Cool. All right, time for our matches. Now, originally, this was going to be a title match. I just didn't like having the lack of anybody matching up with anybody in there. So, turned it into a tables four way. Stax Lorenzo, who demanded to be on the show tonight, taking on Dirty Dom, Baron Corbin, and Carmelo Hayes. Hayes just coming off his cage match, lost to Gunter at the main event of SummerSlam. So he's looking for a measure of revenge. So let's do her to her. So yeah, we do have the music off due to DMCA stuff, so. But it would be nice to get the tag titles defended. I just four way tables match making his way to the ring. Representing the D'Angelo family from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 232 pounds. One half of the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Channing. Lorenzo. But I like the fact that we got this big crowd now because we're running arenas now for the for the foreseeable future instead of uh, just small halls and whatnot. And I'm hoping as we earn assets and we earn... Uh, earn money here we'll be able to get more special effects and his opponents first representing the judgment day from San Diego California weighing in at 200 pounds dirty but yeah just watching watching dom here just i wonder why they don't put the handcuffs on him to start so uh but yeah, by the way stupid monkey good to have you here sorry i didn't mention it earlier got caught in the heat of the moment there from from this but but yeah uh this GM mode has been going rather successfully. I don't want to sit here through all these. Sorry, with all due respect. We're doing a fatal four-way match. Let's let's move things along here a little bit. Want to give everybody their base, uh, base intro, though. Because you never know when you'll get a good, good shot at a new venue, right? Because I'm assuming we're going to get a level 5 arena suit. Well, probably going to have to wait till season 3 before we upgrade from this. And from Kansas City, weighing in at 285 oh. pounds. Baron. In Calgary, are we getting. Yeah, you guys, uh, in terms of wrestling, you're getting the Princess Theater, I do believe. Oh, and you're talking about the new Saddle Dome too, right? I was talking about independent wrestling. Uh, Top Town Pro Wrestling just announced that uh, Top Town Pro Wrestling's making their debut in in uh, Calgary uh, next month, I do believe.
No, a few wrestle heads will be. Yeah, absolutely. But I do think you guys are supposed to break ground on a new arena here as soon as maybe this fall. So, Mellow here, if you weren't here last week, or aka Wednesday, uh, he actually got the main event of SummerSlam against uh, Gunter in a steel cage. Yeah, either just broke ground or just about to. Yeah, so you're you're on your way. I'm glad you guys are finally getting it. So it's been a while. And it is pretty well deserved. As much as Edmontonians like to laugh at uh, Calgarians, it uh, we, we do like to see the best in each other happen because one usually helps the other eventually. All right, so glad we're getting it. I think it's BS that people are paying for it in NHL's pocket. Yeah, we had the same issue here in Edmonton. Because the Edmonton Cates took all the money and... Unfortunately, the popularity gets the profile, right? It's sort of like the way WWE does things now for their premium live events. They say, you pay us to come here and we'll come. Unfortunately, people will pay for it, so they will come. Really surprised Dax and Mello are going at each other here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think of that House of the Dead uh, sound effect when it, whenever I said that there. So yeah, I can totally see it. Don't come! Don't come! If you haven't seen it, look up the clips. It's hilarious. Is Dom going to win this already? Be pretty awesome to see, to be honest. Or even to see Melo get back on track here after losing. Face Buster by Hayes. Get a Uranagi. I like that. I like the NFL ticket to top at. That's the real. Yeah, that's uh, Sports Score Spot. Oh no, I added the ticker on top there. Uh, when I redo my overlays, it's going to be changing a colors thing here. No, no, it's, it's actual real scores as of right now. Special shout out to Game Time Art who uh, provided me with the info on how to get that. Now I just got to work on modifying it a little bit. It looks too much like TSN and I, I can't stand TSN right now. Yeah, it's fully custom. Well, mostly customizable. They don't have every league on there that I want to cover, but... They got NHL, NFL, MLB. I think they got uh, European football. Yeah, I'm just looking forward for uh, fall to come here and everything going forward. Not just because I have a ton of holiday time coming up in September.
Because, yeah, starting with all in, I get five days off, work five days, get five days off. That'll be the first set of holidays, and then two weeks after that, I get another nine days off. Would somebody please go through a table? Thank you, Dom, for setting this up. Oh, nice, Dom. That a boy. You know what to do with these tables. Well, at least the table fell over this time. tables you guys need in the ring Jesus let's just check a chair Don's gonna grab his own table too there we go there's the table set up Somebody's got to get through that table. It's right there. Like, why are we fooling around with it? Dom's right there, Channing. Nice little clothesline here. And there goes the table again. Some of these go quick and some of them take forever. I guess it's like most wrestling matches. And Baron just saved uh, Carmelo from getting eaten by Dom. Makes him eat a clothesline for his efforts. I was Del, so Del uh, Dom cellmate. Oh, I love that little curb stomp with the knee. All right, Stax, you wanted this match. Show me you want it. Uh-oh, he's gonna eat the, I'm gonna eat those words right now. Yeah, there it is. And Corbin wins it. Nice little power slam through the table to finish it. I, I say this is the number one contendership match for the IC title. We could set up a program now between uh, Corbin and Rollins, maybe. We'll see how things go. See what the score is here. See any rivalries form. This might be rough tonight. I'm definitely getting bad booking on this one. Unless that next match is even worse. She barely gets herself over. Fallon Henley hasn't got a match in a while. That was better than a two star, I agree, but I think because none of the classes matched up and the fact that my roster is crap. Yeah, it was better than two star, but they're not treating it like that, but. All right, so we got a second tables match now. Fallon hasn't had a match in a while, and I brought Christina in for this week, so we could have a match with two people that actually, you know, 
might have some familiarity. Christina was here in season one. But I just want to bring her in for one week just for a good, for all memory's sake. But I got a feeling they're going to say poor opener on this one. Because simply having those two brands match up together like that might be enough to get this over. I love Fallon's gimmick uh, that she's actually turned into AXT right now. Uh, she's actually taken her good girl gimmick and flipped it on its ear and talked to... She's basically being a bitter vet. Her, JC Jane, and Jasmine Nix are formed a little coalition there of two bitter vets and one. Hey, from Taipei, Taiwan, Christina Fury. Have this as a bit of an open challenge just for one week. The only thing that can save this is to have this as a half one and a half star match. But I don't think we're getting that. Like I said, this, this is the follow from SummerSlam, so I didn't expect a whole lot out of it. I might have had to play that retention card, but we're going to gain so many more fans just because of the number of seats we got. Maybe if Triple H sees a complaint, he'll give us a pity card out of it. But we are going to be able to get things back because we did play the, uh, because of achieving the goal, we should get a network special card out of this. Basically, I'm considering this a sacrificial lamb week. Try a few things out, see if they work. Christina working over Fallon somewhat fierce. Got time to get the table. Now let's see if the old fashioned rule of uh, you bring it in, you go through it deal goes through. Nice shot to the back of the head. Jesus. In retrospect, we might have should have played that uh, GM interference card. All right, Maya, you're... Uh, oh, jeez. Christina, you're going through a pretty quick... I'm thinking about the next match here. You already got a table in the ring. What are you doing? Oh no, it's glitching out. Oh, she's just bringing it in the ring. Okay. She wants a second one. Fallon just ain't getting out of the blocks here. Oh, there you go. There's a resiliency. Snake eyes in the corner. 
Up and down. Need the stomach. Let's get that table set. Oh, Fallon's going for her own table. Oh, please fall on her just for the hell of it. We'll just get the match called right there. Yeah, I should have had this one on as a special match. So does this count? It should. I would assume it would. Oh no, they suplexed into the floor. Damn you, Fallon. You could have ended it right there. Nobody wants to get splashed in the water. That's hilarious. She blew up her own table. That's horrible. This match should be over. Are you setting that up or are you just standing there? This game will sometimes glitch out like that. That table went flying. They're trying to put it through the table the other way. All right, let's see if this works. Talon, what are you up to? Are you bringing a second table? Nope. You notice how that debris all went slide? All right, Fal, what do you got for us here? There you go, nice shot to the face. Get that table in the ring. Let's get it set up. Let's get this over with here. Uh-oh. No. Uh-oh. Wait. Oh, no. All right. Christina wins at her only match on SmackDown. I might have to go back and find her again. I tried to get you a I tried to get you a match I tried to get you a win and we just screwed up our booking for this week <sighs> all that hard work and shambles level 4 rivalry you can finish that anytime we want now so Maya T. Kirk versus Battleship Brittany. All right, so Maya came out to my office earlier in the week and she said, I'm done. My contract's up, I won't be renewing. Didn't even give me a chance to resign her. Doesn't make me feel bad because I'm running short. I don't, I don't, I have way too many bruisers for uh, females. So having Brittany here just to take on an extreme rules match.
Watch this be like a four-star classic. Hashtag Nashville deserve better. The following contest is an extreme rules match. Making her way to the ring from Kingston, Jamaica, Maya T. Once again, everybody, thank you for stopping by here. I appreciate you. So we'll have to see how about what kind of fans we get out of this by the time we're done. Because these are creative stars, they do get their uh fans from the good old USA. You sunk my Britney. I gotta love this crowd. You gotta give her the Chris Jericho pose because that's the most important one. So yeah, this will be an Extreme Rules match. I don't know how extreme they'll get. Popularity is a little down, so... I should have just made, left these as regular matches and it would have been easier, but... We got a little Nate tonight. Just noticed that here. Down with the splash. Brittany has been a bit of a fan favorite since we signed her just a few weeks ago here. With all the brawlers that we have that it's always great to get a fighter back. We'll probably be looking to sign some more, uh, sign some more fighters here as the season goes on here. We're in that sweet spot right now where you can start looking at possibly bu signing him for the rest of the season. Because you get a little bit of a deal if you book him for longer, right? But then you also have to worry about is somebody so pissed off that they're just going to leave. There's nobody really upset, I don't think, right now. I think she was supposed to go into the post. And that didn't work so well. Ah, oh, here comes the table. Full Nelson bomb right on the back of that table. That's got to hurt. Going up to the top. Oh, misses the elbow. Drives the elbow down the canvas. In, in real life, she'd be dead. Yeah, maybe. Speaking of which, did you see that girl that took the German suplex in Olympic wrestling today? Like, legit, her neck is like... I guess it's bruised, but it's not damaged. Like all the wrestling fans are pulling up the Kurt Angle memes right now, but in all seriousness, that that move can be dangerous if you don't use it properly. But don't put it past one of these brands to turn around and just uh, decide to use it for something. 
Like, I could almost guarantee GCW probably could. I know ECW would have in an instant. That's got to hurt. So what's Maya looking for now? Oh, kid. Doesn't even worry about using the kendo stick. Just throws it at her. All right, Maya. Let's get this back in the ring. You're getting a hell of a send off here, woman. You notice little Nate's right on the cover real quick there. Electric chair drop. Missed the elbow because Britney's Britney's back up in a hurry. Cover. I assume Britney's gonna win this one, but I gotta imagine Fallon's not gonna be too happy about what happened, but. Oh yeah, there's a little payback from earlier. You want to talk about spamming and spamming a move? Oh, going for the Dominator, yep. Yeah, I think these ladies are gonna be out for a while. Hey, Vic, how you doing tonight? I'm having a horrible day of booking here, so. Our main event got, or our opening match got two stars. The rest are. I don't know, hitting somebody with a sledge repeatedly would work wonders. <laughs> Butts in seats, no worries. Hey, always appreciate you, sir. Appreciate everybody that's here tonight. We, uh... We had a four-way tables match to start the show. Uh, Stax versus Baron Corbin, Dom, Dom Mysterio, and Carmelo Hayes. Baron ended up winning, so I'm probably going to try and set him up with uh, Rollins for a bit of an IC title feud. Our second match had Christina Fury come back for one night. Take it on Fallon Henley and beat her in a tables match. And this is now an Extreme Rules match. Anything goes. As a GM, I do know this is going to be a bit of a sacrificial week. Because we spent most of our money on an arena. We opened up the uh, actual... Does this game have blood? I do believe so. I got to check this. I got to work on the settings because... We have had the red flash go off. I think I might have the blood turned off, which would be a damn travesty if you ask me. But yeah, I'll, immediately after I'm done here, I'll go into the settings and check. Last ride! Oh, and from much earlier, worst gimmick. Maya wins as she's heading out the door. So I have all my temporaries pissing off my regulars. Yeah, all our first blood matches are the damn poor Brittany. We're going to have, like, I'm going to have some CSC rebuilding to do after this. Maybe I put Brittany and Fallon together. Okay, two stars. 
I can live with that. Because all I need is my last match to go more than two stars. So I need my MVP to pull through here. Of course there's going to be a rivalry. She's gone though. Becky, an extra 15 grand. Always appreciated. Now our main event. Two people that have been feuding for a while here. They have a level three feud in the tag division. Uh, this would have been a tag title match. Except for the fact Scarlet's pretty much dead at this point. I want to give her a week to recover. Week or two if we can. Next week, I think we'll put the men's titles on the line. But yeah, this one's been a... This one is a feud that's been generating for a little while. And we put this just as a regular one-on-one -on -one match. So we're going to have to see how this goes. Like I said, this, this has been piss poor booking. The only specialty match that either one of these two had was a casket match. And with a casket match, the loser leaves the brand. That's actually the stipulation that goes on with it. So the only way a casket match would make sense for me is if somebody said they're not continuing or they want to leave. And then uh, just put the put the casket match on and put the fixed match card with it. But yeah, JC and JC and Billy, it just doesn't look like it'd be a fight, but it definitely is. Zodiac, I would have done that except for one problem. A casket match is $100,000. Because... And since I spent $250,000 on the... Uh, on the venue, uh, yeah, no. I had 60 grand left for the show tonight, so... This was going to be a little bare bones. I was actually happy I had some... Uh, conditions going on here that helped out how was collision collision was good tonight uh darby and hologram beating the premier athletes put darby in a good light to get shaq perry coming up swerve versus ishii was the uh was the open challenge that was a hell of a fun match we had uh Chris Statlander and Stokely have been challenged by Willow and Ishii for zero hour. So that'll be happy to get all in. Uh, Statlander accepted the match. So expect some Rocky like uh, promos coming up for Stokely. Uh, what else? Texas Bull Rope match, Thunder Rosa beat Deanna Perrazzo. Hopefully that ends the feud. We had a Carl Sheeta come out. She's actually challenging Mercedes Monet this Wednesday for the TBS title after winning her match today. Our main event, uh, you could probably predict this. Uh, the Bang Bang Gang versus the House of Black with Christian Cage as the referee ended up being a match that was thrown out with a double count out uh, double count out as all six people all, all six competitors were down Christian was a mystery of the count got to eight Buddy Matthews got to his feet Christian spit, hit the spear counted nine ten rang the bell and then wired everybody out so we're getting to that inevitable three-way match at Wembley between the trios. It'll be another nine-person cluster.
as the referees can throw a count here. I wonder if rivalries do pay more of attention to this than they do. Like classes match, rivalries match, like rivalries there. This is just a regular one-on-one -on -one match. Wonder if the Meltzer score is gonna be any better on this one. Jane with the splash. Flattens her out. Gotta be setting up for that. Oh, never mind. Cover. Just a two cow. Billy kicks out. Impressive. Oh, setting up for that cyclone kick. Oh, blocked. Wow. And Billy hits the dominator. And just a two count. Both ladies hitting their finishers. Well, sort of. Both ladies going for her finishers. Oh, my apologies. Now they're both going for their finishers. The last ride. Hands under the ropes, head to the ropes. Come on, Robinson, you're supposed to see that. Oh God. Oh, and Jay gets out of the way. Perfect opportunity for her to take advantage here. And they got the foot. Oh my goodness, we got spotlights. We got spotlights, folks. If you guys noticed, uh, for those that just popped in, we did pick up the extra arena tonight. I felt it was important to pick up the arena to get that revenue and get the extra fans coming in. Because the capacity is so much more, ticket revenue so much more. Watch this be a cow. Oh. Jane gets counted out. Yep. We're ending this night on a count out. Can you tell it's WWE? Maybe we're going back to the Attitude Era. Where everything's either a DQ or a count out. Well, we got the rivalry grown. The same stars as the last match. It's 2018 all over again. No, 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 no. No, please, no. All right. Let's see how bad our report card is. I, I told you tonight would be ugly. Next week's going to be a lot more fun. Poor opening. Okay, so no injuries. We got a level four rivalry. We got a level two rivalry. So we did everything we sort of needed to. They got a good booking out of it. And a level four rivalry in the tag division. They got a level four rivalry here, but Orton's out for three weeks. That's a hell of a sacrifice for that. And their tag team division is a four level four rivalry. And ECW's got a three, a one, a three, and a four. So they're absolutely jam-packed for theirs. All right, let's face the medicine here. All right, so we get ECW first. 47,000 more fans, $211,000. No extra special notes. One twelve score. We're not even going to get a hundred, I don't think. Two forty nine and forty three. This could be a rough week for us. One sixteen. So you gain fifty three thousand fans and one hundred thirty five thousand cash. Ninety one. This was rough. At least we got back up to two hundred and two thousand. So. 
We're making money now. I knew this would be a bad week. But we got the network deal, so we can increase the fans by 25% this week. Anytime we want to use that, so. The only reason we're at first place right now is literally because of the Hall of Fame trophy. Got the Netflix deal. Exactly. That's what it is for. You get to throw a network special up for one week. So I don't know when we'll play it. I want to see how we can develop our next card and see how it looks. We are officially still in second place, but we're only 2000 ahead of ECW right now in terms of fans. And raw just bumped up by 75,000. So we got a car. We got some work to do but it's definitely doable we got the time we got the re i needed some time to redo the resources here so i knew this this week would be garbage but there is a way we can catch up here so but as as i've mentioned before we can't save at this point or it's going to redo everything so therefore we do have to fast forward to next week so we get to look forward to see what's coming up next week here so let's check things out Brooklyn, 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 Brooklyn. Billy wants to come back for another five weeks, so it'd be 32-5. You know what? 32-5 might not be that bad. I want to keep her around because she's got two feuds right now going, so... Oh, here we go. Just brought in a new physical trainer on staff. He's worked with a ton of major sports brands, cutting edge stuff. We could loan him to your brand to help train some of your superstars to help them recharge and recover most of their stamina. They will have to sit on a show, though. You can have him for long enough to train Carmelo Hayes and Cora Jade for 30 grand. I'd also be willing to bend the rules to let him just train just one of one of those two for free. I don't know if I need. Yeah, I'm going to do free for one. I want to see where we're at here. Carmelo's at 39. Oh, they're both at 39. Okay, well. Carmelo, I just had through a level four feud, so I don't know if I'm going to be using him that much. Cora, I definitely am going to be using for a few coming up here. I think I'm going to go Cora Ivy as we go forward here. So or Cora F Cora Fallen. So yeah, definitely. All right, so Cora's going to be out this week. She put me in a match with Henley. All right, I'll set that up. That's fine. Hey, boss, you had me benched for a while, and I really want to get back in the ring. Don't you have room for me on tonight's card? Uh, how does main event sound? Because I'll tell you right now, I'll tell you what our main event's going to be. Do not book your most popular specialist to get a veto. Let's just double check this right now before we go. Oh, don't book Seth. I can get Baron to call out Seth, so that works out. I can do that. Anyway, our main event for this week... I'll just show you guys what we're going to do here. Here's your main event coming up for this week. So we are definitely going to have, we're going to have a better score this week than we are last week. So 
But yeah, that's our main event. I will pre-book that setup for you guys. We could hold this off to the pay-per-view, but we got some other feuds going. You know what? Maybe we won't do a cage. That's definitely good. There we go. We'll do that. Just something to keep things nourishing until... We'll, we'll get through this one. We'll move on. We'll try and get them all the way to Fastlane. I better fix that before it saves. Yeah. All right, so that'll be our main event here. We do, we are gonna have three other great matches on the card. And we got some uh, looking to do here to see maybe we could get things put over a little bit more here, so. But with that being said, that's gonna wrap it up here for uh, our my GM this week, uh, Twitch. Viewers, stick around. We're going to set up a raid here in just a moment. For those here on uh, YouTube, uh, thank you for checking things out this week. We are going to... Uh, if you guys are want to check this out live, we record this every Wednesday and Saturday after AW Dynamite and AEW Collision over on twitch.tv slash Mike the Ref. And uh, we do post these up on YouTube every Tuesday and Friday. So you never miss out on a week going into the next week. So uh, it's a lot of fun what we're doing here. And I'm really enjoying uh, what, what we've been doing as we've been moving along here. So, But with that being said, I uh, want to say thank you, everybody, for being, being around. And uh, as always, folks, remember, be part of the solution. Don't be part of the problem. And we'll see you all here next time on the Backbreaker Gaming YouTube channel. Take care, everybody.